Good evening. My name is Jim Griffin. I'm the director of City Parks. And I want to thank you for coming to join us to celebrate Black History Month in the city of Pittsburgh. I would really like to thank, uh, again, Bobby Short for his, his great music and the, uh, as they provided for the last couple of years. This year's theme is a salute to first responders and exemplifies uh, our, our, our uh, honorees for helping our community uh, have so much success in terms of uh, being able to protect and serve the city, uh, and protect our occupants, and provide great models for the uh, future employees and the future citizens of this great city. And uh, our special guests tonight include uh, our very own City of Pittsburgh Fire Chief, Daryl Jones. Chief Jones, where are you? All right, how about a hand for Chief Jones? And uh, a great uh, uh, leader as well, County uh, Police Superintendent, Assistant Superintendent, uh, Marita Bryant. Ms. Bryant, are you here as well? We'll still count her, she's still a city's own, still a city's own. And uh, those individuals, real, again, have made a huge impact in terms of, of lifting up our city, providing great role models, and really exemplify the best attributes of every single uh, first responder, whether it be police, or fire, or EMS, or 911 operators, or even animal rescue. So all those folks provide those folks provide great examples, and we're happy here at our, all, tonight to honor not only Chief Jones, but also every member of the first responding team here in the city and also in the county. So again, thank you all for coming. Um, right now, I want to introduce uh, one of our great sponsors here from Waymo FM. Uh, Waymo has been a great sponsor for us for many years and they exemplify uh, everything we're trying to do in terms of support uh, Black History Month, but also the goals and aspirations of our, our community. So to, right now, I'd like to welcome uh, Jamal Woodson from Waymo 100 FM for a few words. I want to thank you guys all for uh, allowing Wamble to be a part of this great event. We've been a part of this event for many years now, and we want to be a part of this for every year uh, uh, moving forward. You know, I think a lot of times we take for granted uh, the first responders, and that's one of the, the greatest things that I think that are um, undervalued. Not too long ago, I want to say about a year, uh, about six months ago, um, Wamble's building is in Forest Hills, and our um, the roof caught on fire to where we were. The ceiling caught on fire. Everyone from Whammo ran out, scared the building was gonna catch on fire, and it was great to see the first responders running inside, pretty much saving Whammo. And it wasn't really until then, uh, I think I truly realized how important the first responders were. So, just wanna say thank you for saving Whammo <laughs> and uh, allowing us to be a part of this great event and look forward for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Woodson. Uh, Wamo is a great sponsor, and uh, now uh, I want to introduce another supporter of this great program. Uh, he is our the chairman of the Urban Recreation Committee in the City of Pittsburgh, uh, the uh, councilman from the Fifth District, Mr. Corey O'Connor. Director, thank you, Director. Um, this is interesting for me. Um, every year we do this event and we continue to amaze me with city parks. Um, they always change the theme. They always know how to honor so many great African Americans that have done so much for the city of Pittsburgh. So for everybody at city parks, if you could just be recognized, if we could just thank them for the tremendous job that they do to set this up every year. And this one is also really special to us. Um, you know, we don't talk about the great work that the men and women of our first responders do enough in the city of Pittsburgh, but without their brave and courageous efforts each and every day, some of us wouldn't be here. So for every first responder, especially the ones and the stories that are being honored tonight, I encourage everybody watching, and if you're here tonight as well, please read their stories. It's very interesting where they came from and the jobs that they have have done uh, to save lives in the city of Pittsburgh and also in the county. And speaking of the county, I know somebody that's been at this event for a number of years that is a fighter for first responders and understands the importance of, provide, of the service that they provide to our city and to our region. That is my friend and our county executive, Rich Fitzgerald.
Thank you, Councilman, and thank you, Director Griffin. And uh, it is it is an honor to be here and, and, and honor two people um, and all the, really, the first responders. Councilman O'Connor said it very well. Um, often taken for granted that we just live in a wonderful, safe uh, city and county, and we do. And one of the reasons we do is because of the first responders who go out there uh, and, and really are the heroes of, of this community. Um, I want to congratulate uh, Chief Jones uh, in his work, but I also want to congratulate one of our own. And this was a city person. Uh, she became a free agent. We didn't, we didn't let her out there long. We saw a talent. We saw somebody. So uh, Chief Bryant, uh, Deputy Superintendent uh, Marita Bryant, who uh, you know for so many years served the city of Pittsburgh uh, and now has a little wider swath uh, covering all of Allegheny County and is really doing a fantastic job for all of us. So I think uh, the African-American population in Black History Month, it really is appropriate to, uh, to honor so many folks and, and, and for doing so many things for all of us in this community. So um, I'm looking at the next speaker. So I'm, uh, do I see him anywhere? Am I looking? No, not yet. Okay, so we're going to have to, um, we're going to improvise. I'm going to bring you back up, Corey, because you're going to, can bring up or Jim the mess. I could tap dance. I could juggle. I could sing. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We don't do that. No, I know the mayor's busy at a meeting. He's gonna be coming down, and also been you know such a great uh, you know champion and supporter of our first responders. But again, it's it's great to be here. I want to thank WAMO for their contributions and all the folks who uh, contribute and bringing it back as our Council Five representative, the uh, chairman, Mr. Chairman Corey O'Connor. <laughs> thank you. So I'll, I cannot sing or dance, um, but we are going to uh, just go down the list of our program. And we have two great keynote speakers, uh, as the county executive mentioned. And the first one I'm going to bring up is somebody that I've seen a number of times in the community, especially when there's a fire and there's an emergency, he is there on spot. And I think you want a chief that, that's there with the community and with his first responders as well. And it's an honor for me to bring up Chief Jones to say a few words and to accept this great honor tonight. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First off, I am humbled and very grateful for this opportunity and for the recognition that you're providing to us as first responders for the city of Pittsburgh. I started my uh, firefighting career over 30 years ago inside a small town just northwest of here, Alapapa. And in that time, I had some great mentors who led me. Uh, just recently, just a couple minutes ago, Mr. Bowder asked me that I consider myself to be a groundbreaker. And my response is, no, I am not a groundbreaker. I am a beneficiary of people who came before me who broke ground and paved ground to make it easier for me to do what I do and to accomplish what I have accomplished. Two of those people I want to mention, one is a gentleman by the name of Teola Patillo, who was a captain with me in the Alacoba Fire Department, and unfortunately, he is no longer with us. The other one is a young a lady by the name of Tony McIntosh. And if you get a chance, you should come over here and read Tony's story as being the first African-American female firefighter here in the city of Pittsburgh. These people were groundbreakers, and I just am one of the people who were able to benefit from that. I have a responsibility to them and to you as the citizens of Pittsburgh. And my responsibility is to continue to move forward to provide you the highest quality of safety that we can provide. And we as a team, and by that team I mean all members of the Public Safety Department are here at your beck and call committed to deliver to you, the citizens of Pittsburgh and Allegheny County, the best services that can possibly be provided. It is my vision that the City of Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire is the premier public safety organization in the world, and we are striving to meet that, that uh, task and that objective. So with that being stated, 
I'm going to come over to the county executive again. And again, thank you very much and have a good evening. Congratulations, Chief, and uh, very well deserved. And thank you for your service for, uh, for all of us. Um, I also want to acknowledge uh, Councilman Dan Gilman is here tonight as well. So I appreciate uh, City Councilman Gilman. Him and uh, Corey work, work so well together. Um, now, it's my privilege to talk about the second honoree. And, you know, we've made a lot of changes in our county police bureau over the last year, uh, bringing in uh, after the retirement of, uh, of Superintendent Moffitt. And the team that we've put together, I'm really, really proud proud of with the superintendent Coleman McDonough and this next honoree, the deputy superintendent, assistant superintendent, the work she has done already in this community. You know, we think of Allegheny County and we, th we know a lot of good things are happening, but there are a lot of communities out there that are really suffering and hurting and don't have all the resources to provide some of the public safety services that other communities have. And the county police has really stepped up in, in doing that. And that really has been led by Marita Bryan and her ability to go out into the community and develop a trust and a relationship so that they feel very safe and they feel very um, comforted by the fact that she's leading this effort. So we again, I mean, you know, when, when Marita Bryant decided to retire from the city and was available, boy, we couldn't wait to, uh, to bring her on to Allegheny County. So she's serving, uh, serving all of us here in this region. Um, it's with great honor that we give our award to the next honoree, Deputy Superintendent Marita Bryant. Marita. Thank you so much, and this is truly an honor to stand before you and be recognized as one of the Pittsburgh's first responders. It's hard to believe that in 2017, this is my 40th year in law enforcement. I, I joined the Pittsburgh Bureau of Police March 28th 1977, before many of you were born. I was in the fourth class of female police officers to join the force, and believe me, it's a lot easier today than it was back then. Despite the early trials and tribulations, I do not regret my decision to become a police officer. Any career in public safety where you have the opportunity to help people is rewarding. But being a police officer, I find, is a commitment to service. Throughout my career, I have strived to be a positive role model for my family, for my community, and I've always wanted to make my family and community proud. And I wanted to earn the respect of the officers who work with me and who work for me. Throughout, throughout my career, I've had some really positive role models, male, female, black, white. I have people who stood beside me, who I've stood beside, who we've shared a bond. Being in the police force is like joining, joining a family. And we have our ups and downs, but there is no better career, and I would encourage anyone anyone who is even thinking about, who wants to help people to join the police force. It is such, such a rewarding career. Upon my retirement from Pittsburgh Police, I was fortunate to join the Allegheny County Police, thanks to County Executive Fitzgerald and Superintendent Coleman McDonough. They saw something in me and I think what they saw is that they knew that I really wanted to continue serving Allegheny County. I've served in the city of Pittsburgh and now and I have like a wide range that I can just go out. And serving under the leadership of Superintendent McDonough is, is such a, a relief. I was kind of skeptical at first because I didn't know him, he didn't know me, but he is such, such a good leader and he kind of gives me free reign. One of, one of the things that attracted me to the county is um, 
County Executive Fix Gerald, he wanted to kind of kind of change the the face of the county police. He wanted to bring in more diversity, which is something that I started working on right away. And he wanted to make people realize that the county police was a police force. That a lot of people would say, county police, what do they do? They do a whole lot. I mean, I fell in love with county police. I thought I loved Pittsburgh police. And I see uh, Chief Scott Schubert over there. I do love Pittsburgh police. It's right here. But the county police, they have, they have officers who are, are dedicated and who really want to serve the community. And I've always been a community person, so I have a free hand to kind of help bridge that gap so that they'll be more involved in the community and serving the people what they want to do. So I would like to thank you again for this, for this recognition where I said that I've always wanted to strive to be a positive role model. I hope that I have in the city of Pittsburgh. A lot of times when you walk through the streets and people come up to you and they say, oh, where have you been, where have you been? Because I used to be on TV a lot. And I said, I I'm still here, I'm still around. Oh, I miss you, I miss you. And there's people who said that they remember a call that I was on when I used to work in uniform, either walking a beat or on a wagon or something. They remember that call. So that's what's so important about policing because you impact people's lives. You save lives, you help people. So that is, that is what makes this career so rewarding. And I thank you so much. I'll run on and on and on. But I thank you so much for this recognition. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much, Super Assistant Superintendent uh, Bryant. We're going to bring you up here in a second, back up in a second after the mayor speaks. But I just want to thank you again for, for coming and being an honoree. Uh, tonight we honor all honorees. And so we'll have actually a uh, certificate of honoree uh, for all first responders tonight there, we can be pick, pick them up on the uh, table on your way uh, on the far side of each, each end of the room there. So we'll have these certificates for each and every first responder here tonight. Um, you know, you talked about service and obviously Ms. Bryant's been one of the best exemplars uh, we've had in the city and in the county. And Chief Jones again has modeled that behavior, uh, you know, for, for decades. Um, my own story is uh, tied to first responders as well. My great-grandfather was a city of Pittsburgh police detective in the 1880s. And he was one of the first uh, uh, black detectives in the city. And uh, he had a lot of challenges, a lot of uh, excitement. Uh, it was a real bustling and booming city there. But he also had a commitment to this city and to service. And I think that's what every, almost everybody in this room brings tonight, whether you're uh, you know, running the event here tonight, as my staff has done, uh, or a member of council uh, that, are, that are so here, or a county executive, or uh, anyone at all here, again, has that service in mind. And the, the, the first responders are the best modelers of that behavior, of that model of service, of that model of commitment. And again, they bring us a safety every day. And so now, if the mayor is here, Oh, I think he is here. Wow, it's great timing. Um, I'm going to ask him to come up and say a few words. And after he's done speaking, we'll have a, a group picture, not only with uh, Ms. Ms. Bryant and uh, Chief Jones, we'll also have all of our first responders. We'd like to bring you to the podium and take a group picture uh, if you have the time. So without further ado, uh, our mayor, uh, the great uh, Bill Peduto. Thanks for being Okay, they usually call you the great before the end of your career, so I don't know if that's good. The great one. Yes. Uh, first off, and before we do the recognition, um, to all those public safety officials that are here tonight, thank you. And just a little bit of recognition, if you could just raise your hand so folks can know. Thank you on behalf of the people of the city of Pittsburgh for everything you do every day. Um, you know, as we look at this month and we look at the history of this city, we understand that there are so many people, so many events, so many places that are a part of Pittsburgh that we can be proud of. And we all try to stand on the shoulders of giants that came before us, those that were able to break glass ceilings, those that were courageous enough to take stands where others would basically say, that's not the place 
that's not the time. But they knew it was the time because it was the right thing to do. And as we look at today and the challenges that we face, we know that we can look back to this city and see the examples of courageous people who have been able to do the right thing and against the tides of impossibility, we're able to succeed. Sometimes those are people who were instrumental in our early education. Sometimes they were a parent, an older brother, an aunt, somebody who gave us encouragement. But it's upon us, all of us, to be able to do the same for the next generation. So as we celebrate Black History Month, we celebrate people. We celebrate great Pittsburghers who took great strides. We celebrate those that broke glass ceilings in public safety and those that helped to mend relationships as well. And we think about our opportunity and our little time that we have here to be able to make a difference and follow in their footsteps. Uh, Director, I believe there is a certificate of recognition. Yes, so we're going to bring Chief Jones and uh, Ms. Bryant up here for the honor. Thank you. Ms. Bryant, Chief Jones. In recognition of your hard work and dedication to the city of Pittsburgh, as a res first responder, you are building a strong foundation for this great city's advancements, not only for its public safety departments, but all aspiring young men and women alike. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your involvement. A salute to Pittsburgh's first responders a tribute to the African-American men and women who serve the city of Pittsburgh. Awarded this ninth day of February, 2017, Mayor William Peduto, Director Jim Griffin. There's one more. One. It's the same one. So Fantastic. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Can we get a picture? Photo. Yep. All right. Thank you all. How about a big hand for all of our honorees? How about a big hand for Black History Month? Thank you all for coming. Don't go anywhere. We got plenty of food. I want to also commend our. Uh, our sponsors, of course, WAMO 100 FM, uh, but also I want to thank also the contributors to this award I mean, and to this program tonight. Uh, not only our staff, the special events office, special events and film office uh, in, in city parks, but also the Carnegie Museum, the Carnegie Libraries, the Heinz History Center, and uh, Dollar Bank, who also did a fine uh, historical uh, uh, documentation as well. So thank them all. And again, thank you for coming tonight. And again, uh, have a great Black History Month. It's American history. Thank you.